Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I've got something in from China. So, as you guys know, for the longest time I've been talking about going to a water-cooled hot end. And here we go. I picked one up off of eBay. These are appearing rather cheap on eBay. I think for I think I paid around 22 bucks US for this. And so um, it actually came in a came like this in sort of a just a uh, regular shipping bag, nothing fancy, kind of wrapped in this um, stuff. And I was rather surprised that it came like that. But uh, anyways, kind of wanted to open this up and take a look, do a little bit of semi unboxing. Now, I haven't seen a lot on this uh, on the internet, so there's been a couple of places, but it doesn't seem to be coming overly popular just quite yet. So I'm going to open this up. comes in this kind of little plastic bag, and it looks to be made out of aluminum. Now, this is kind of loose, this bottom seal piece here, and this piece is loose. Now, it's got, you know, an inlet and an outlet, and again, these are not... Uh, very well sealed. I would probably use some kind of thread sealer on these to make this all watertight. And it does look like it's got some kind of seal. So uh, let's go ahead. Let's see what's inside here. This uh, this piece seems to be connected. So let's go ahead and kind of pop this apart and um, see what's inside of here. So there looks like some hex nut bolts here at the bottom. Okay, so uh, here's what we have. This is an interesting machine cylinder because um, this thing I think is actually cast and not machined. There's also, if I don't drop it, up inside of here there's uh, another um, gasket. Uh, Sort of similar to this. Now, now this is rather interesting. This is some sort of um, plastic. This is not even rubbery. So this is the gasket that goes on the bottom. Now, notice these. Um, it looks like a regular sort of hot end. And this tapered piece pressure fits up into against this to create a seal. So I'm thinking that's, uh, again... Uh, a hard plastic. I'm not sure what kind of compression seal that's going to create. Uh, there's really no bafflings or anything in here to direct water flow, so the water flow is just going to be kind of what it is. Now, um, so let me kind of lay this out what we have here. So now this is, seems kind of loose. You can tighten this up, and again, your uh, ceramic heater drops in here, your thermosistor coupler drops in here. This screw kind of holds it. Uh, this is supposed to be, I think, a knockoff E3D hot end or nozzle. Um, not a very large heater block here. Uh, I'd like to see a little bit larger one. Um, interesting fins here. So, but again, this is how it sort of all lays out. So this this is what you get. Now, one of the things I've been looking at: how do you mount this guy? Because again, there's really nothing in the sides that facilitate mounting. Um, and I don't think it's quite thick enough. It's hard for me to really uh, ascertain how thick this is uh, to drill into the side and tap it. I don't think you can do that. But there are holes tapped in the top here which are sort of, I think, just reciprocal of these. Um, it doesn't look like it goes all the way through. I can't see light through, all the way through these. Um, so you can probably machine up something to kind of mount this in, in uh, connect this to your carriage for the 3D printer. And so that's probably what I will do is machine something up on the CNC to actually mount this to the, the printer. I, I'm really kind of excited to get this going to, to work on this. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of time right now, so I kind of want to do a little, bit of, a little bit of an unboxing, share with you what does this look like, because I'll have links for this down below if you want to get one of these and try experimenting with it. Also, I'd be interested to hear from you. Have you experimented with this? Um, if you have, let me know your results in the comments below. I really like this idea. I'm probably going to use this as a retrofit. Uh, to the Tron Exe um, and replace the uh, uh, hot end on that with this one. You know, primarily because uh, the hot end 
in the z-axis stays the same where on the creality and the alpha wise this you know moves up i, I want to have it so that the the z moves instead of the head and so I think that will be a good printer choice. What do you think? Is that a good printer choice? Should I do the Creality? Should I do the Alpha Wise? Should I put it on a different printer? I don't know. Uh, let me know your thoughts below. I'm still pretty open on this. I'm going to um, uh, probably use a similar system to, to pump this as I do my uh, 3040 CNC uh, water-cooled spindle. Uh, basically just use a five gallon bucket as a thermal mass and see how that goes and just circulate the water. Uh, so again, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you got one of these. Uh, maybe I'm crazy, but anyways, don't forget Swag Shop up there. Hit me up in the comments below as always, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.